Um, I never thought I'd truly be here, honestly, because I really thought I was going to be a one and done. Simple as that. <laughs> um, now, but um, before I begin, I think the first person I have to start with, uh, who basically made me commit to Villanova, a while ago she was crying in my living room. My sister Sabrina, she's here somewhere. If you could stand up, stand up. Her tears and my mom's tears basically were like, you have to go to Villanova, so I thank you. But um, I really don't know how this happened. Four years have gone by so quickly, and uh, it's been an unbelievable ride, and I wouldn't have changed anything um, to finish where we did as a team, not just winning a national championship, but the, the chemistry and the commitment we had to each other was just unbelievable. So um, first person I have to thank is uh, Jason Donnelly for recruiting me from the start. And if it wasn't for him telling Coach Wright he should start recruiting me a little bit more, I probably wouldn't be here either. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, thank you for everything. Um, this, uh, how to deal with situations both on and off the floor, and I thank you. Um, Coach Bake for all the workouts and coaching me harder than anyone, um, but also keep me loose and having a great mindset to go out and dominate and lead in practice and set the tone for the team, so I really thank you. Uh, to Ash, Kyle, and Nardi for talking smack to the guys during practice and always keeping it real, and um, for always telling me to crash when I never go to the glass. I appreciated that, Nep. And then... Um, <laughs> Uh, for also just all the talks we had about how, be, uh, how to become a better leader, both on and off the floor, and to make this team the best team we could be. So I thank you. And uh, George, you're really like another brother to me, and uh, just always keep me on a straight line and uh, humble to get better each and every day. The talks about family and faith for sure made a difference in my college career, both on and off the floor, so I really thank you. Um, to the GA's managers, Harks, Clarky, NDP, more Dave Art, Big Cat. Uh, I'm sorry for being so annoying in preferences of socks, arm sleeves, and making you guys rebound for me at crazy times, but I think that really helped me to become the player and uh, person that I am today. And uh, all the work you guys do on game day and not just uh, at what everyone sees on the floor, but the backgrounds, getting to the gym two and a half hours early, setting the jerseys out, um, it, just, it just lets us focus on the game and just not worry about anything else, so I thank you. Uh, Shaq. Thank you for helping me get my body right, Bucks County for life. And uh, it, it wasn't the easiest, but um, you, always, you always push me to be better, and we're going to continue to push each other when we're in the weight room, and I, I really thank you. And Jeff, I have no words. I don't know how many times or how many tables I've jumped over or how many stitches I had, and you continually told me to stop, but that's just not what we do at Villanova. That's just not what I do. That's not what we do. We're going to go for every loose ball. We're going to go over every table, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, next person, uh, just Father Rob. I didn't look forward to just to game day just because of the game. I truly look forward to hearing each homily and how it, it would get my mind spiritually right. Um, it, I just knew that no matter what happened, you would be there for me and God would be there for me. So I thank you for that. Um, Arlisha. <laughs> you can't say enough about Arlisha. I'm sorry for always being late with my tickets for games, and uh, you just are the backbone in this program, and um, the, the stuff that you do that goes so unnoticed and run a great event like this is just, uh, it's unbelievable, and that's why she's the best. Um, to the office assistants, Halid, Marissa, Jen, uh, thank you for guiding me uh, throughout my work and uh, taking care of any situation I needed uh, with in, in the office. Uh, to prof uh, my professors and mentors in the classroom, uh, just thanks for working with us throughout the hectic schedules and um, for always being there if we need extra work or extra help. And it's the whole student body. I don't know if anyone's still here and all the fans, we thank you for everything, <laughs> for the support, uh, and always making the Pavilion in Wells Fargo feel like a, home, a true home court advantage. We thank you. And the energy you guys brought to Brooklyn, Louisville, and Houston was the best out of any team that was there. So we thank you, and uh, I look forward to being a part of you guys next year. Um, the next person, unfortunately, he, he, he passed away in, uh, in November, but I wanted to, to just say something about Bobby Taggart. And uh, he, was, he was a big part of our team. And uh, Mr. Taggart and him, sorry. They were just a big part, and I know he was a big help in this run to the national championship. Sorry. <laughs> Um, to the whole team, we say that we play for the ones who came before us. Now you're playing for us seniors. So uh, you guys are my brothers, and I'll cherish uh, each uh, lift, film session, team meeting, 
and hotel times and you guys continue to hold each other accountable and you guys will make our seniors proud for years to come. Uh, to our seniors, uh, Pat, Henry, Daniel, Kev, we always said we were the redemption class and we brought this back. And uh, we always truly stri uh, tried to strive to be the best teammates we could be and as Villanova basketball players, so I thank you for that. Daniel, uh, we started off just as leading by example, and then throughout our years, we've really turned into uh, vocal leaders, both on and off the floor, and uh, I, admire, I admire you for that. And uh, Kev, the newest addition to our redemption class, thank you for everything that uh, you did, and uh, you fit right into our, to our class, uh, and we're a key piece to every single day of practice, both on and off the floor. And to Pat and Henry, my, my two best friends, uh, thanks for always keeping me humble and hungry, even though I might have had a really good game. I, I could always guarantee you driving back to West Campus, they'd tell me I stink. And you, need, and you need to do this, and you need to do that. You need to get in a stance. You need to rebound better and everything like that. But uh, that, I really needed that, and that's, that's what true best friends should do. And um, I just I admire you guys. So thank you. And um, to my siblings, Sabrina and Nicole, and where's Michael, Chris, and Courtney, thank you for everything. I'm sorry I couldn't always be home. Uh, during, during my high school years to help clean bathrooms or take the trash out. Or, and, uh, but the constant support you guys gave me throughout, just knowing the crazy hectic schedule I had with AU, and uh, you guys always gave me a shoulder to lean on uh, when I needed to cry, especially after that LaSalle game my freshman year, having eight turnovers. That was really bad. <laughs> and uh, I have to mention my brother-in-law, Andrew. Um, He's my biggest fan. He lives and dives with Villanova basketball. But I will say, for Christmas this year, he asked for a Josh Hart jersey. So we know who his favorite player is. <laughs> and he, he got a Josh Hart jersey and a Josh Hart hat. So thanks, Mom. <laughs> so Mom and Dad, um, I'm not sure. Mom, I don't know where I'd be, uh, where I'd be here tonight if it wasn't for that Fisher Price net in that family room and having the green light to play basketball until midnight, 1 a.m. in the family room. Uh, thank you to my wonderful mom from Broken Wedding Pictures to night after night, being out with dad shooting or working out at the Rice's house. Your love and support and confidence in me <laughs> always kept me going. <laughs> thank you and I love you, mom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and um, I'm almost done, don't worry. And to dad, um, all the nights in the gym, the Rice's house to work me out or take me wherever I needed to to improve my game. Late nights, early mornings, give me every opportunity to get better. I thank you. And uh, you never tried to coach me on the floor, always waited for after the game, but you let me grow as a player. And uh, without you trying to coach me, it really helped me to uh, greatly become uh, or to develop as a great player. And uh, you lived and died with every shot, and you were always my biggest fan. I can't thank you enough, and I love you. And, um, yeah. And uh, finally, to Coach Wright, um, you took a chance on a kid who sat out his senior year, and uh, you always said that I would have a scholarship even if I couldn't play, and that truly just gave me the free mindset to go out on the floor and to just give it my all and not worry about if I ever got re-injured or anything like that. And um, your attitude and uh, coaching both on and off the floor uh, has made me a better man and has helped me become more well-prepared for what life throws at me and, up, up and for the rest of my life. And uh, I can't thank you enough. And um, I always wanted to be Ryan Wright, so I guess that was cool. <laughs> I wear that with pride. I, I, I take that as a, as a compliment. But um, to Villanova, <sighs> these past four years have been the best years of my life. I thank you for everything. It's been a true pleasure representing this university and wear the Wildcats jersey across my chest. Like Pat said, once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat. Go Cats. <laughs>